Hmm. Some people believe that knowledge is power. Is it really the truth? It's only half the truth. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is just potential power. If you right now being frustrated in finding optimal method to learning faster, or you being swamped by social medias by you know some shortcut to read effectively, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna break down how you can actually execute learning in general. That sounds good. Hi guys, if this is gonna be the first time you guys visit me my channels, uh, I'm making videos to share about my personal perspective, some story of life, and to see in the end if we're coming up with some win-win situation in the end. Like we can learning from each other, like we can have some small talk, share some experience. That is the sole purpose. So if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe to that because that's gonna be huge motivation for me. Okay, so let's get started to the videos right now. Have you ever in the situations when you're reading the whole pages in the books and when you come to the end, you don't remember the whole pages and you're wondering what's the point you're reading in the first place. You don't find any real values for yourself or some real lesson that you can implement right after that. You completely kind of forget about that. If you're already in the same case, I completely understand because I'm already in there. That is the biggest mistake that I ever have when it comes to learning. And a lot of my friends have the same thing, is that we don't have the clarity when it comes to the outcome that we've been looking for. So I really want to point out these biggest distinctions when it comes to mastery because one of the most unprecedented mindset that you guys need to have in your life, in business or in relationship in general is clarity. Because clarity is power. What is that power? The power for taking actions. The power is the abilities for executions. So there's gonna be four stages in learning. Information, knowledge, experience, and wisdom, right? So let me explain step by step because this will give you clarity, right? Because I can, I, I firmly, I firmly have a conviction is that if, I guarantee you, if you can master this, it's gonna be transformed completely the way you guys learning. The mindset that you have and the way you guys thinking about the progress you can make in the future. All right, so we're coming up with the first thing is that information. Information is like facts, theories, numbers, figures, anything you can find on YouTube, Facebook, or Google's. Or just imagine it's like when you are in high school, like teachers giving you the textbook and they tell you to read. That's just pearly information. And I can tell you, information alone is not gonna make you feel happier. It's not gonna make you smarter or make you feel much more better. No, they're not gonna make you richer. This information does alone does not gonna help you. And when you are gathering enough information, it's like when you accumulate information and convert that into knowledge. Knowledge is like, you know, when you, you, when you have enough information, the teacher gives you the test. And when you test, you know what is right. After the test, you know what is right, what is wrong, what is your mistakes. So, that you, so knowledge is the filter. You know exactly what is what information is good for you, what information is not, so that you can, you know, building building a package, a package of information that work best for you in that situations. All right. So a lot of people, a lot of people, they just watching YouTube, they just read books to just acquire information, and they're wondering is like why I'm learning so fast and what. And, they, and they're wondering is that I've gone extra miles to learning. I watch a lot of videos, I spend ton, tons of hours streaming YouTube. I've spent time to read books, but why if my life hasn't changed? Why if nothing changed? Because you just acquired information and you haven't converted that information into knowledge. So in order to do so, in order to convert that you need to spend time to jot down some notes right to know exactly what is what is what is right what is wrong what works what not works all right so how can so the next stage how we can convert knowledge into experience is going to be the huge difference but this is a stage of implementations you need to take actions and what is taking actions over here is that you need to try try more 
try, fail, make a lot of mistakes. Because when you're making a lot of mistakes, you're learning from that. You're learning from try and error. You're learning from split test. That's the way you grow. You grow by experience. And then when you going through a lot of experience for yourself, you will see the patterns. What, I'm, what is the pattern I'm talking about? Just imagine like when you do, if you are, if you're doing a lot of practice tests, like the, the school example, is that if you're doing a lot of practice tests and when you're going back and forth with multiple type of tests, you will realize that, hey, this problem, they have a structure. So in order to solve this problem, we need to coming up with some signals so that we can quickly translate that into solutions, all right? That's the reason why practice make perfect. You need to learn from experience. And the only way to learn is to fuck up a lot. That's the only way. So what is wisdom? If the knowledge is accumulations, wisdom is eliminations. The reason why I'm saying that because I believe is that wisdom is the abilities to not to do something, not, not to increase, but to decrease over a period of time. Because for example, like if you want to be successful in any any fields in your life, for example, like if you want to master English, you're gonna go seven stuff. For example, like seven stuff. But that that's you learn from experience, learn from time and error like we've been talking about. But with if you are wise, if you have wisdom, you knowing that only two step, only two step in that seven step is gonna be critically important. If you pour your heart into it, if you focus it on just two step, you're gonna get the result. So all you need to do is get rid of the five step and focusing on two step. That is wisdom. And wisdom is the abilities can you can simplify everything in your own way with the minimum effort, with the minimum step, but you're gonna get the best result. You know, that exactly, that, that really struck me a note is that when Apple's like Steve Jobs once said is that simplicity is the ultimate sophistications. That is wonderful. That's the reason why I'm a big fan of Apple's is that because they, they, want, to, they want to moving forward with that message. They want to going forward with simplicity is that is the age of learning. Okay, so how can we convert those information that we've been discussing today into knowledge or even wisdom? How we can implement it? What is your taking away after this video? Uh, please comment below because I really want to know more. It's gonna be huge motivation for me in the next videos. But I really want to share one of the things about when it comes to mastering this. The tips, one tips, is that you need to have the state. I. I don't, it doesn't matter what books you read. It doesn't matter what resources you're learning from. It matters the most is the state when you're learning those. You know, because I've learning from Chum Quick is one of the phenomenal professional coach from my valley. And I think it's so powerful. If you can knowing the state, I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be help you guys the most is that forget. You need to forget everything that you know about the subjects. You need to know, you need to, you know, you know, forget everything relating to this because the, if you, if you always feeling the cup is full, if you're feeling, always feeling like you already know it already, it's holding you back. And if you know it, why don't you think that starting with the beginner's mind is going to be bring you the fresh new experience. It's not about opportunities for you to see the problems from different angles, finding solutions from different lands. And if you, and if you completely brand new, it's, it's freaking incredible because you need to forget about your limitations because you don't know what you don't know. And learning for me, I believe is not fixed. It's like a muscle. And the more you train, the more it's getting better. All right? So that's it. That's this for today. And I hope that you guys like it. If you guys like this videos, you know, leave, uh, please, Hit the subscribe buttons over here. Click the bell for not to turn on notifications. It's completely free, but it's gonna be huge motivation for me. Um, I know, you know, but I really hope that you guys can actually master this system. And when you starting with the beginner's mind, and when you seeing something and you implementing, you completely, you know, fully transparent on the outcome that you're looking for. 
I'm looking forward to see you guys on the other side. All right, so live passionately, my friends. I know it's a long video, but I love it. I love you guys can still watching this one. And congratulations. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.